Good morning. I am Viraj Gupta of Class 4B, IPEM International School and College. Today, I am going to deliver a speech on the topic, Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless lines and starry skies. The famous lines by poet Lord Byron defines beauty of a woman so nicely. It tells a lot about the prose. Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. This prose is given by the well-known ancient Greek philosopher Pluto. It was first expressed by an Irish novelist, Margaret Wolf Hungerford, in 1878, in her novel Molly Bond. Beauty is a subjective word. All human beings are unique. We all have different choices. What one likes or appreciates may be disliked by someone else. The first flower that blooms in the garden gives happiness and hope to see many more in coming days. But there may be someone who would criticize and repent that there is just one flower after so many days of watering the plant. It is all about how we perceive things. Beauty attracts the eyes, but personality captures the heart. Physical features fade with time, but wisdom remains forever. Buddhist monk Thich Nhat Hanh says, We need to accept ourselves. Once we love ourselves, we love others too. Social worker Helen Keller defines beauty as the most beautiful thing in the world. Cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt in the heart. If we see beauty everywhere, we are always happy. The blue sky above us, the snow clad in mountains, the drizzling rains, deep sea and oceans, the tenderness of rabbits, the garden full of flowers, and the playful children. All are so beautiful, so joyful to live with. All things bright and beautiful. All creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful. The Lord God made them all. We should look at everything not only by its physical features but also by its qualities. So now we accept that everything has a purpose and it is for our good. We will start liking it and find it beautiful. Thank you.